Hey guys, welcome back to the No Holds Barred Network. I'm your host as always, the EVP of Giggles, the heartbreak chick, the queen of the indies, Tiffany. Um, today I decided to do a special edition of Under the Ropes for you guys. There's been so many amazing moments and so many episodes that I've done, but I just started thinking about all the moments of the list of husbands and the list of wives and I thought it would be a treat to put all those pieces together for you guys to enjoy because I <laughs> I can't even tell you how funny they are and it just puts a smile on my face and uh, it's been such a great thing and you guys out there sharing your list of husbands your list of wives have been so much fun for me to see so I hope you guys continue to do that for me so please like put them in the comments below tweet them at me um, I'd love to see them I'd love to share them but so enjoy these amazing moments I, I i i can't even put into words everything that i did um so again make sure you like share subscribe leave some comments below and yeah just enjoy and i will talk to you guys soon so uh anthony you ready to do this i'm ready <laughs> tiff are you ready i'm ready all Let's right go. <laughs> So uh, we are interviewing the uh, first member, or I guess uh, one of the members on the long list, Tiffany, of the list <laughs> of husbands. Yes, I'm bringing it up right away. <laughs> what's, what's that now? Uh, <laughs> so uh, we actually have a t-shirt on our all list well, store called the uh, list of husbands. So Tiffany's got a long list of uh, of. Uh, male wrestlers out there that she'd love to have as her husband again look at this <laughs> anthony putting you right in the spotlight here you are actually one of the members on this long list is it is it, there's some sort of ranking on this yeah Where you're pretty I high i think you're pretty high i think i'm, I'm pretty sure in the top five <laughs> I, mean, I mean honestly if i'm not one that's kind of a problem yeah <laughs> i'll work at it though i'll work at it okay sorry tiff i had oh to God, I'm sorry. Thanks a lot, Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks a lot. <laughs> you better be number one after today, Tiff. I'm just saying. Absolutely. I mean, I. Uh, so thank you, Anthony, for joining us on our very first episode here of Under the. I, I actually had one, one oh. question before I leave. Okay. I thought I, asked, I, thought I asked you guys a question. Ooh. Oh. Oh, the tables have turned. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm scared. <laughs> okay, so am I number one now? <laughs> Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. Yes. Sorry, Marty, I, knew, I, had a, I thought Marty. that I would be able to, but I just wanted to make sure. Sorry, Marty. We're gonna have to go. Sorry, Steph. Sorry. We're gonna have to go edit that shirt and 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 crop in his name <laughs> on the top of the list there. <laughs> Absolutely. You guys heard it here first. <laughs> Anthony Mo is now number one on the list of husbands. <laughs> Future promoted on our All Elite show as well. <laughs> Under the Ropes, episode number one, we uh, interviewed uh, Anthony Gangone, who uh, Leroy is very familiar with. <laughs> um, and uh, actually, he is actually the number one on the list of husbands yes. from I'm Tiffany. The shirt. <laughs> yeah, I, I heard about that. I, I heard about it. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. It is a sh oh, wow, look at that. Yeah, that's, that's, that's a shirt. So, I mean, there's That's space fair. below, so who knows? <laughs> <laughs> just, just, I'm sorry, but I actually have a message for you, Leroy, from Anthony himself. He oh, told me to tell you that he's number one. Wow. <laughs> That's it? <laughs> That's wow. That's the message. That's I mean, Anthony told I, me to I, tell I, you on air. I, I didn't realize it was a competition. <laughs> I didn't realize I was supposed to be like... Like I usually try to be like number one on the leaderboards, but I'm just like I wasn't ready for this. I, <laughs> I mean, jeez. Wow. <laughs> you, you guys just you guys got to settle it in the ring. This has got to be done formally here. <laughs> Battle for Tiffany. We get there? <laughs> Battle for number one. <laughs> now I feel like how, I how do I how do I move up then? What do I what do I do? Then? <laughs> I gotta, I gotta grow a beard or something. Like, what are we talking? You gotta wear an eye patch. <laughs> yeah, like, I gotta yell a lot. I gotta be angry. <laughs> that's, that's what people are into, right? That, that's, that's, that's cool, right? That's what the cool kids are into <laughs> now. Trained with uh, number one husband of Tiffany's, 
list the husband's right. member That's and right. the gang going. Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, to be under the damn bus. He was actually dripping in gold recently with his updated yes. uh, gold. His updated <laughs> pictures there. Oh, crazy. Um, right. But if you guys I have a lot of goals, but um, you know, one of my one of my top goals is to make it onto Tiffany's uh, list. <laughs> oh, <laughs> all right, all right. It's a it's a great goal. I mean, I think Tiff that's Tiff like. <laughs> I think that must be like the thing because every time we do an interview, everybody always says that they're only going to come on if they're on the list. Of well, it. time to break out the eraser, Tiff. Time to scratch a name off. <laughs> Just my saying. Life, my life That's right. You got to. You have the T-shirt. Oh, there it is. Yeah. The list of husbands. This is the old there one. I gotta update it, but yeah, so my list of husbands. So. I think we, I think we can erase that number one spot. I think that's, no! that's a little old there. Why is this? I'm trying to take Anthony off my list. Get out of here. Like, Hopefully, uh, after this interview, I, I can you know climb my way up the ranks. We'll see. I don't know. Yeah, just like he's climbing his way up in the wrestling business, guy. He's gonna climb up that list of husbands. It's gonna happen. <laughs> I wanted to ask you a few questions. Okay, yeah, okay. Well, I, this yeah, time. yeah. Tim, what's this list? Talk about this. What's this list? A list? Yeah, a list, <laughs> of, a list of sorts? My what is that about? What is, what is that about? Where is it? I know, I get shit for this. Oh, she right? had it. Oh, so you have, have the you have the list nearby, but the planet well, is under was, the tree. This was the original list, okay? Oh, this this, this was the original list. Wow. Is that a great So this was this was the list. This was the original awesome. list. I just got the pictures wow. of me meeting oh, the pictures. husbands. Yes, it was a it was a gift. Um, it's been updated uh, time and time wow. again. And actually, I'm actually doing an update, but I'm not releasing it till the next oh, indie talks. Oh, okay. 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 So there's an update to the list. The so I'm doing. Like power ranking I am doing a, an independent list. The husbands. Oh, so okay. that will be so released. Is, is it like every Friday, like AEW, they come out with like a ranking? <laughs> it Friday feels like, like it. Like, a husband ranking is every like. <laughs> it feels like, like it. MCM, I... <laughs> like MCM rankings every Monday, you give a power ranking of your, which funny. husband actually ranked up higher than the other one. John John Moxley won this Saturday, so Shriek is now he's... four and two, but he went up two points on the husband list, pretty much. Right? So he's basically up there. <laughs> I feel like this could be a thing now that you guys gave me an idea that I could do it. Like, every, But I said I was like, because I did a general list of husbands when the list of husbands came out and I've updated it a couple of times. And I was like, you know what, since I'm doing indie talks and under the ropes, I'm going to have to update my uh, and, and just the independent scene, just the independent scene of all the indie wrestlers of who's on my list of husbands. So. What, what's the criteria to get on the list? <laughs> Exactly. What's the application? <laughs> There's no application. I think I don't know. Wow. My my hot guys. I don't know. <laughs> I uh -oh. don't know. Wait, wait. Is, are you more like an ass man? Or is, it like a, <laughs> is it like a face sort of deal? Or I'm, like... Believe it or not, I'm a skinny skinny dude guy. <laughs> Girl, like I like skinny oh, dude. <laughs> I, 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 yeah, we're not skinny guys. Wait a second. But thanks for the interview. Wait a second. Um, um... Chancla, Chancla mm -hmm. has a question. Yes. Oh, what was that? What, he, what's the question? He's kind of fiend on this guy. <laughs> Oh, he says, um, let me put him, yeah, there we go. Um, he says, basically, is he on the list? Oh. Well, he belongs on some sort of list. I don't know what list. Not the list of husbands. Some sort of list. He's into uh... kinky things. He likes to rip people <laughs> in the butt, so, you know. He is Chancla. What was that? Uh... Oh. Nah, that's that's not good for this podcast. Like, <laughs> oh, my God. can't say that. Sorry. Yeah. He said he he said he misunderstood. I think he said that he misunderstood. He said it. Un he didn't know it was under the ropes. He thought it was under the sheets. <laughs> so, how many beers did you have while during this podcast, my man? Oh, it's not that he's. You see, he said he's had the coquito. The coquita. The coquito gives you that. The confidence. So he said he tapped that bottle of yours. Bueno, that's we got to right. get him out of this house while we're here, bro. Go. Go sober up a little bit. Listen, oh. <laughs> Kyle said, <laughs> Kyle said, hashtag too good for the list of husbands, number one co-owners. Oh, did you just put them on your list of husbands, Kyle? So, I don't know. Stay tuned. Later, I'm doing indie talks. We'll see who's on my uh, list of husbands. So. <laughs> I, I don't know. You'll see maybe later. I don't know. I don't know who's on that list. Uh, I, cha I changed my a, list. What's a husband? <laughs> it's not.
my um, it's my thing. It's my thing on the podcast. I created the list of husbands. So do I make this list? Do I, I don't, I don't about- know. I don't know. You're gonna have to. You're gonna have to check later. <laughs> make him your husband. <laughs> You're gonna, have to wow. wait, you're gonna have to wait to see <laughs> on Indie Talks who made my list. I made an independent list of husbands. So I had the original list where it was all over WWE, NXT, New Japan, all sorts of. So oh. I made just independent yeah. list of husbands. So that will be revealed later tonight. So make sure you guys tune in tonight. <laughs> a list of like side guys. I think I'll be fine with that. Be, <laughs> I'm gonna put the gun back. You wanna be a side bitch? They're, yeah. My um, list of side I'm bitches. Out, yeah. Sure. Oh, I like that shit. But... <laughs> Damn. This is PG. I don't even know if the sound is good. It's the husband number two. <laughs> what? I'm right next to you. Number two is number one. No! Like, you were like, you act like you don't know this. He goes parading around saying that he's husband two, number yeah, two. I'm number two. Who's number one? <laughs> can't go. Yeah. Can't go. <laughs> He wants me to put. He wants me to. Yeah, boo. He wants me to put him over so bad. He's the. Yeah, he's. Uh, oh we'll, we'll get into. We'll get into that. We'll get into that, we'll get into that later. I, that, but I knew where her tensions were because she just like because she even posts that she like she hooks up with a lot of wrestlers all the time. Like that's not. I'm not one of those wrestlers. I've never been that type of person. Like it. That. That's not why I wrestled. I, I don't want people to come at me in a sexual nature and just like, hey, I just want to wrestle. I love meeting my fans. I love getting to know my fans, but not on that level. Like that's a, it's just not who I am, and it's never, it'll, it'll never be who I am. Stay away, ring rats. <laughs> I'm sorry. Like, it's, it, it's flattering. I got it. It's like because I'm, I'm 32, and you know, like people are like there. Are people are like, oh man, you're like you're you're an attractive man. It's like, oh thanks. I like, you know, it's good to hear that you know you're. I'm I'm older and I'm not depreciating in my uh, look category. There you go. <laughs> Tony's on my list of husbands. I know, like I tweeted at him before. My whole list of husbands of all of all my uh, all all the wrestlers that I like. They're all they're all on my list of husbands. So I gotta redo my list of husband number because I don't even know where anybody is anymore. <laughs> but you on the list? <laughs> I like and that that's flattering to me. It's like, <laughs> I just, well, I like it, it, it just, like because there's a way like uh, there's a way you could joke around with somebody like saying stuff like that. And I, I would never take it in a uh, creepy way. Yeah. Because there's ways, like, my wife's best friend, like, we're all, her and I are all close. And I always joke with her. Like, the one day she was, uh, like, she came over her house today. And, like, she's like, where's your crock? I was like, all oh, down there. And she's like, oh, it's not down here. I was like, oh, sorry, it's on this side. I'm like, I just lied. I just wanted to watch you bend over. <laughs> she's like, well, you could have just told me. Like, and she knew it was in a joking manner because, like, that's how we, like, I, it doesn't come off as creepy. <laughs> yeah you know so like there are people just like they mess with me like okay that, that comes off creepy just yeah. like instantly ignore it. like i remember like i posted the picture or the video of uh me mooning the other day and i had people message like oh my god dudes like come on and like and brian pilmer jr joked he's like things i'll do for money during this crisis and blah 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 he's like one not get nude or get nude or whatever <laughs> so like i jokingly tweeted at him i go oh i'm the opposite and I had people like, "Are you serious? You sell nudes?" I was like, "No." Was oh, like, my the fuck from, dude? Like, oh my god! Oh my god! god. It's making a joke. Relax. <laughs> like you couldn't tell there was a joke. <gasps> oh my goodness! <laughs> people are crazy. <laughs> yeah, they are. Like you know, like we, you know, we have so much fun with like some of this stuff, and it's so nice to appreciate, you know, humor within within wrestlers. Like life's too short, so I appreciate it. You know what you guys do, but like some of these, you guys are creeps. Like you guys are weird. Stay yeah. away. <laughs> Man, I got my humor. So what, what did you go to this weekend? So I, you're spending. I went Sunday to... with me. So <laughs> I went to um, uh, Warriors of Wrestling last night. Where was that? Long Island. Staten Island. Staten Island. Yes. So every every weekend, like I'm going somewhere. Um, but I have been. What's well, now? I'm going to interview. You. Uh, <laughs> what's, your, what's your favorite company to go to? Um, I'm stuck between ICW and GCW. Oh, well, they're kind of twins, but yeah, I love yeah. it. I love it. So I actually <laughs> went to my first G, like physically went to my first GCW uh, a couple weeks ago. I can't see your face. I can't feel your face. It's 
that was great. Yeah. It was exciting. I, I went because I had to see Alex Zane. I had him on the podcast. I had he's him. awesome. He's 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 amazing. He's, he's it's crazy to think like he, he's kind of like the same as me. He's been wrestling for so long and um uh, like he've had that uh random match on their uh what was that their July Fourth show? Yeah, with Tony Depp. And then in this past six months, he's just blown yes. up. Boom! He's, he's doing like New Japan. And he's all over. But he was literally like doing like nothing like wrestling in these you know small shows in front of like 30 people and just kind of like not making any money and then all of a sudden he's like the, the biggest thing on the indies it's crazy how that can happen you just you get that one small break and boom it's like a rocket gets strapped to you and it's it's crazy it's it's totally crazy i just oh i love it i just i love following the indie scene um but yeah he's he's amazing he has i know like i told you that you're on my list of husbands so i know you're not familiar with my list of husbands but it's the thing that started on the All Elite podcast that I did with Kyle, who made our beautiful layouts. Thank you, Kyle. Um, Kyle, you're the best. <laughs> Way to make it look, uh, yeah, not fat down there and kind of look like a wrestler. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, yes. Yeah, so Highly photoshopped, I think. <laughs> I, I don't know how to do any of this stuff. So, thank you, Kyle. <laughs> it's, you're, you're a beast. That's, this is my co-host on uh, All Elite podcast. I love him. So, thank you. Um, but yeah, so we started a thing cause I used to talk about like wrestlers that I have crushes on that I would love to be on my list of husbands that we started. And uh, Anthony Gangone was the original number one husband and he came on the Wait, podcast. Wait, that was, that was your podcast? <laughs> <laughs> you, talk about, you talk about wrestlers you had crushes on? <laughs> no, we would have a whole thing and then that was like a little bit of like, oh, okay. our only podcast. Say, no, 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 no. I don't know how long you could stretch that out. No, like, no, it was like a little. How many episodes? We're doing a little snippet because the list always constantly changes. But <laughs> if Gangone made it a thing, actually it was his birthday yesterday, so happy belated birthday. Um, happy so, birthday, Gangone. So he was our first interview on Under the Ropes and he didn't really know me for a hole in the wall, even though I was a fan for him for years. And Kyle threw me under the bus within three minutes of the podcast. He was like, so you're the first interview on Under the Ropes and, you know, you're the first member of Tiffany's List of Husbands. So it became <laughs> a thing. So every episode of Under the Ropes that I do, I get thrown under the bus either by Kyle or the wrestler or if they're not on my list of husbands, they try to get on the list of husbands. But well, you're already I'm, I'm on the list. honored to be on the list of husbands. <laughs> you're on the list. <laughs> So thank you. <laughs> I'm trying to get all my lists on the podcast. So, um, and I don't know if you're very aware of my list of husbands and the list of wives thing that I had kind of started on it with all with all my husbands and stuff like that. Actually, you're on my list of wives, right? Oh. We, we had to like. <laughs> I think you're on a lot what of people's. Number am I? <laughs> you're number one, man. You're all number right, one. All right. <laughs> Right. I'm going to tell you this. Your number one uh, fan, Alex, me and him got into a big fight in the car one day driving. We were going to an indie show and we were having a conversation about the list of husbands and the list of wives because it's fun to flip it. Like me, because like I'm known for my list of husbands, but I've done the list of wives as well. So yeah. we kind of flipped and stuff like that. He was arguing with me. He's like, no, you can't have her at your number one. I was like, why not? I was like, she's number one. I don't care. <laughs> like, <laughs> I love it. I love it. So... <laughs> I love all this stuff. It's all it's all good fun. So anyway, so Kyle, you know, my co-host on the All Elite podcast, okay, he said, Would you valet Kyle Masters to the ring? Hashtag list of a list of wives. <laughs> I think Alex will beat you, Kyle, for asking that question. Just so you Maybe know. I shouldn't answer this question. <laughs> Maybe I should protect um, myself and just say I'm gonna have to pass. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Oh, how about this? How about this? Okay. This is how we're gonna end it. Okay. Top five husbands. <laughs> My top five Go. husbands. Yes. Oh, Gangone's Your number. Gangone's number. I've just changed it too in the independent scene. So Gangone's one. He's staying there. Nobody can touch him. We we've established this on my podcast with him. Number two is Chris Steeler. Number three. What? Is, yes. Yes. Does he does he give you money per month? <laughs> he posted Chris thirst Steel, traps. Like, wait, wait. Is it the real? Is it the same Chris Steeler that I would think that it was Chris Steeler? I hope so. I don't know. <laughs> like, does he still do like the designs in his hair? Uh, no, no. But is it oh, that the, Chris the, 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 He's like he looks like Sean Spears a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 
All right, he's that's, my Eskimo. Bro. That's number two. Number three is Lucky Thirteen with all his thirst trap pictures. He's hot. Uh, number four is Ace Andrews, and uh, number five is Hank Flanagan. Definitely have a type. <laughs> I do have a type. It's like that uh, skinny white except boy. For Lucky Thirteen, except for Lucky Thirteen, but you have that like. The skinny white boy. I go, I go to the gym maybe once a week to take a picture <laughs> at the gym. Body looking guy. <laughs> yeah, pretty much so. <laughs> like they look like a Isaac. tall glass of fucking nothing. <laughs> I like my little skinny white guy. Shut up. Don't judge me. But by the very, way, very I... intimidating. And very <laughs> unintimidating. I have a type. Isaac said it. <laughs> what what makes Anthony Gangone such a top pick? That, that, Anthony, that's I don't, I don't know. I go back like six years with Anthony Gangone. Anthony Gangone's been one of my favorite independent wrestlers since SWA. Um, I think it's SWA. SWA, man, like that's like where I remember. Like that, I've told him this before. Like he was shocked when I told. I was like, you know, I've been a fan of you for six years, but he's only aware of me since last summer. Yeah. Are, are you talking about SWA? Long in, Island. Deer Park? Oh. Yeah, Deer Park. Mm-hmm. I was on those shows, you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> See, I don't know. I just, I always had a thing for get going since six years ago. So, but he only aware well, of me. I, I don't, I don't look like a wet piece of wet, <laughs> wet fucking mop at all. So I, I definitely don't fit the mold. Sorry. Of, you, you, either, you either have to be a skinny Wet mop or a midget? And I'm, I'm one done. Of those fucking like, I am done with you. <laughs> They're dying in the chat. I feel like Lucky 13 is in too good a shape to be on your list. Well, it's just funny because Lucky 13 falls into like my old school ways of like the blonde and like kind of like the blue eyes kind of thing, like a little bit. But even like if, if you're going to talk about other things, like uh, Alex Zane's on there, even Tony Deppin's on there. <laughs> Is Pinky Sanchez on No. <laughs> no. Hank Flanagan. <laughs> Hank Flanagan should not be on any professional wrestling list. I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I can't. What? I don't know. I'm just dying. I can't. They're dying in the chat. I love it. I love it. <laughs> I don't. I don't understand you. That's okay. I mean, to, you don't to need to. Own. There's people that don't like, you know, deathmatch wrestling. Right. <laughs> and then there's Me. people that are attracted to Hank Flanagan. <laughs> you know. I'll be all right. Is me. he still a wrestler? <laughs> I'm done. I gotta stop laughing. That's not nice. He's one of my husbands. <laughs> Oh, geez. You're probably going to get the least out of him <laughs> in the divorce. Oh, jeez. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> um, so we have a fan tweet. <laughs> Everybody throws me under the bus. So <laughs> I think you're used to it by now. As long as you know me, somebody's always throwing me under the bus. I mean, it's Twitter, so somebody's <laughs> going to throw you under the bus, right? <laughs> okay. So this is from Dottila. She said, how has your life changed since becoming Tiffany's number one husband on her list of husbands? <laughs> How has my life changed? Well, I would say, you know, I don't know if you guys know this, but there was there's a stereotype about married men become more attractive to the opposite <laughs> sex. And it seems to be that way because ever since I became the number one husband, uh, I've, I've had more um, uh, interest from uh, other people. I'm sorry to say, Tiffany. Although I was number three or four at one point, so... Uh, you know, you have to understand uh, there's other fishes in the sea as well. <laughs> you did say that you didn't think that you were going to last long on this list, but Alex Zay went on there for like a month and then you started losing all your championship belts. And then I felt that it was my fault. And then Alex Zay got hurt and busted his foot. And I was like, that's it. The world is out of place. I was like, we got to put him back. So going forward, you're not going anywhere. Everyone else is up for grabs. So. <laughs> There you go. I'm sorry. All right. It's my I'm gonna fault. hold you to that. Okay, you're you're staying there. Nobody can handle it. It's not happening. So, <laughs> mm-hmm. I'm sorry. <laughs> Forgive me. <laughs> you got belts back, so like you're you're good. So. <laughs> yeah, I, I got a, I got a few. I got a few. <laughs> <laughs> 
dripping in gold. So, but no, even with the list of husbands, it became a thing that going forward after the first interview with you, now all the wrestlers are coming up to me saying, how do I get on your list? Or am I on your list yet? So it became a real thing. So <laughs> you made it explode. So oh, here oh, we are. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> He wants his royalties now. Okay. I do, yeah. <laughs> Here, I got some water. I mean, I like, I, I like the money as well. <laughs> Damn it. Uh, I can, like, give you, like, I have fat pharaohs sitting on the exercise bike. I, I can't give you any money. I don't, I'm not making any money. <laughs> I don't know. I, I accept action figures as well. Okay. All right. Cool. <laughs> All right. Wait. So there's no more Skittles because I said that I was, you, I brought you a bunch of Skittles and you told me I was going to make you fat, so... No more Skittles yes. going forward? Yes, and then I just, I just kind of made myself fat. So, <laughs> uh, <laughs> But uh, we're working on it. But, yes, less Skittles, uh, more, more action, salads. More so salads and more action figures. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, got you. <laughs> awesome tattoos. Um, I think they're awesome. Uh, I think that um, maybe one day I, I might get one or two. I, I believe, Ray, your tattoo is amazing. Uh, <laughs> and uh, But, yeah, I mean, I think they're awesome. I just I haven't gotten them myself. Um, but, yeah, I think they're, they're great and, and cool. Yeah. They're addicting. So prepare yourself if you do one. Shh. Stop telling him. <laughs> trying to give him positive so he finally gets one. Yeah, it's, I was uh, pushing that agenda. I've been pushing it for a while. Now. I'm thinking about getting your face on my on my chest, Ray. What do you think? <laughs> it's kind of fair. It's, uh, yours is on my on my arm now. So yeah. yeah. Maybe I'll get another one of Tiffany on the other <laughs> side of my chest. But I'll make it very vague just in case she ever puts me back down. No, so I can turn it it's not happening. Girl. I'm I'm saying it right now. It's not happening. <laughs> no one can handle the number one oh, husband's spine. <laughs> He's going to pull him my chet this so that way he can just fix it up later on. And, oh, I'm God. sorry. It could be, be Selma Hayek later on or something. <laughs> Damn. He's in. So um, it's like inevitable for all uh, every under the ropes that I do. And uh, especially when uh, a list of husbands come on. But uh, so this question is, how does it feel to be number two on the list of husbands? <laughs> well, wait, I forget. Who's number one now? Gangone. <laughs> I mean... I mean, he, he is a sexy man, so <laughs> I guess it's okay to be number two. Um, I guess that's okay. So it, it, it's an honor. Um, I mean, you, you can't, I don't have his hair, so I can't, be, I can't beat him. He's always going to be above me with that, with that head of hair he's got. So. I love it. Uh, but I moved you up because I remember when I first saw you, I was like, who is this? And I forgot who I was asking. I think it was Frank from IWA. I was like, who is that? I was like, why do I not know him? I was like, he needs to be on the list of husbands. I was like. <laughs> So I moved you up because you were lower, and then and then I fi I finally moved you up. So you've been pushed oh, into. I remember it. you actually did a logo when I ran that ass podcast for me. <laughs> Do you remember that? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I love I love that show. <laughs> and, and like honestly, it was it was just straight up. It was just straight up, and that's kind of like what you're doing now, both wrestling. So yeah, yeah. It's a really dope concept. Nah, I love it. So I know um, a lot of people say that about me that uh, I'm very like real. It's not a character. Pretty much what you see on the podcast is what you're gonna see in real it's life. It's not a gimmick, brother. No. Yeah. The only gimmick I have is the list of husbands. So, but pretty much, <laughs> but not. Oh really. no! Don't get. <laughs> me started all right no don't oh, get man. started don't don't give me Dude, crap yo, when i saw danny damanto when i saw danny damanto on the stream and then he just went off on all your husband i felt so bad for you, <laughs> How you feel? he's in the chat by the way so. what's up danny <laughs> I love it. no it's yeah. all good it's like all good. why isn't richard rue is on your on your uh on your list <laughs> like why isn't uh like, like, I feel like everyone questions you. Like, they stop do. questioning Tiffany, guys. Get our DMs before I expose you. 